Good evening, and welcome to Cecil TV's 30 at 6. I'm your host, Rob Churnside. And i got to tell you, we're coming up on the Cecil County Fair, which starts July the 20th. And before we get to that, we've got a lot of good stuff going on. This Thursday, in Elkton, they will be having the Dog Days of Summer. Main Street businesses will be giving away treats, surprises, bandanas, and there will be plenty of ice cold water, or room temperature water, cold water, cooling, soothing water for your dog. And don't worry about walking the dog on mid streets. It might be a little bit hot because at the Cecil County Arts Council, they'll be giving away and treating your pooch's pads on the bottom of the feet with a special treatment. I forget the name of it, but you got to go there to find out, and it's free. And check it out. There's going to be music down on the corner uh, provided by uh, the Elkton Alliance, the Witch Doctors, a blues and classic rock band will be there. The whole town will be partying. It's not going to be too hot. It's the start, really, of the dog days of summer, which I believe lasts from mid-June into mid-August. So, lots more events are coming to our county seat, Elkton. So stay tuned and keep watching Cecil TV and 30 at 6. If your town or organization, church or society has an event, contact us at info at Cecil.tv. And now some news. The Cecil County Department of Emergency Services launched a new community notification system called Code Red to send important alerts and time-sensitive messages to staff members and residents. According to Emergency Services Director Richard Brooks, the department can use the app to launch alerts from anywhere at any time, and residents impacted by weather and other time-sensitive events will receive them directly to their smartphones. All residents are encouraged to visit www.ccdes.org to sign up for Code Red and immediately start receiving these informative, life-saving alerts. The Maryland Department of Health is warning consumers to avoid eating fresh crab meat imported from Venezuela because of the potential risk of infection. MDH is investigating a cluster of infections in individuals who ate fresh, quote-unquote, or non-pasteurized crab meat from a plastic tub with a label indicating that it is imported from Venezuela. The imported crab meat is sold under different brand names. Maryland crab product has not been associated with this cluster. The implicated foods have been prepared in both household and restaurant settings and include a variety of dishes such as crab cakes, seafood salad containing crab, and crab benedict. On June 27th, the Maryland Department of Environment revoked final approval for a proposed concentrated animal feeding operation, or CAFO, in Cecil County because it lacked the required environmental protections. MDE's decision to revoke the final approval and require greater stringency in the CAFO plan signals that new facilities must meet requirements to protect human health and the environment. This came after the Environmental Action Center appealed MDE's approval on behalf of the Calvert Neighborhood Alliance. We'll meet our first guest after these messages. Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Charles. For 30 years, I have been practicing functional medicine and gentle chiropractic. Elkton Chiropractic Neurology is dedicated to enhancing whole body rejuvenation. Whether or not you are afflicted with injury or disease, we utilize a structural, neurologic, metabolic, nutritional, and energetic approach to restoring your body to its full potential. After coming to Dr. Charles, I'm better than I was before. You deserve to feel good and to have an active lifestyle. So why not call Elkton Chiropractic Neurology today? I'm home! Wow, it's hot in here. Grandma says call the Moon Man. <laughs> moon Man, the AC is out and my family is melted. At your service. <laughs> there you go. Mission accomplished. Thanks, Moon Man. <sighs> the house is nice and cool again. Moon Man, you're awesome. You're welcome. Just go to moonairinc.com. And now, Cecil County and the world, let's welcome the 30 at 6. A 10-year veteran of 4-H, a senior next year at Perryville High School, Hunter Madrin. Hunter, welcome to 30 at 6. It's nice to be here. And it's great to have you here. You're going to talk a little bit about the fair and a goat that you're entering. Yes. So, this coming uh, 
July 20th, we have the kickoff of the Cecil County Fair. I will have a market goat there that anyone that wants to try goat meat or just wants to come and check out all the animal shows that we have going on through the fair, you can come during the entire week of fair. And then the last Friday, there's an auction where you have the chance of purchasing any animal that are that is there. And you've kind of, I know you've told me about your, your involvement in 4-H and all the different things that you studied. Your goat's named after one of your, your other things that you studied in 4-H. So what's your goat's name? My goat's name is Piston. Piston, like on an engine, yes. right? Yeah, and Piston's a male, right? Yep. How much does he weigh? He ran about 75 to 80 pounds. Wow. So, and he's only seven months old? Yep. So you're going to enter Piston, this seven-month-old goat, in a competition where people judge him, right? Yep. On the, the 20th, right? 23rd. Oh, the, okay, 23rd. And that's right. The competition's Monday. And if he wins, he'll theoretically perhaps command a higher auction price when they have the auction on the 27th. Yes. But irregardless, old Piston's headed down the road, right? Yep. So tell, 10 years in 4-H, what are some of the things that you studied? Um, I do a lot of the engineering projects. I've done a lot of the market animal projects. And I work on a diamond clover project, which is like kind of like our Eagle Scouts for 4-H, but it's diamond clover. So it would be smash fair curve where you pay a dollar to hit a car with a hammer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Smash, what is this called again? Smash fair cure. Smash for a Cure, you were telling me about that. That's going to be at the fair too, right? Yep. One of the many exciting attractions, attractions at the fair. That's a car, right? Yep. What kind of car is it? It would be a Dodge Caravan this year. I never liked them. I, I never looked. I had one of them. I never liked it. So I could come up there with a sledgehammer, right? Yep. Pay you a buck. Mm -hmm. And that's throughout the entire course of the fair? Yep. And I could smash this thing. Yes. And pretend it was mine that died alongside the road. Yeah. That would be great. So that's smash for a cure and the money goes to Breast Cancer Center. Yes. Right? Oh, that's good. That's another reason, folks, out there in Cecil County and the world, you should attend the Cecil County Fair. Okay? There's another reason. It involves your, your work with engines too, right? Yes. So this year is the second year for the School Bus Demolition Derby. And we have one for this year. A school bus, a school bus. Isn't that unfair that a giant school bus will be in the demo derby? Mm -hmm. There's others. It's like that movie Killdozer. <laughs> you don't remember that movie, do you? No. Anyway, the school bus. Everybody can run into it, or the school bus can run into other. What is the demo derby? What day of the fair? So it's the last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with a Saturday matinee. Um, Thursday is the school buses and regular cars, and then the Saturday matinee is trucks, minivans, um, four cylinders, and uh, SUVs. Cool. So I've always wanted to see the demo derby. Maybe Cecil TV will be there filming your school bus okay. or your smash for a cure. That would be fun too. Mm -hmm. And of course, poor little piston. But you don't, you know, you raise these animals and you love them and you know that they have a purpose, right? Yes. And that's part of what farming is all about. And that's part of what yep. 4 the 4-H experience and learning through 4-H is all about, I guess. Yeah. What other animals have you raised? I've raised swine, dairy steers, and then the market goats. Okay. And market goats, you were telling me, are really good meat because... Yes. They're high in protein. Higher than, like, beef or...? Yes. Oh, cool. So you live on a farm, mm -hmm. you do all this, you raise the goat on your farm? Yep. And you sell Christmas trees? Yes. Well, I'll be out to get one this year because I think we're going to be in town this, this year. So in order to review, folks, 4-H is a worthwhile endeavor. Am I correct? Yes. And you don't want to miss the fair this year because of the many exciting events, the including Piston and his debut and uh, auction. You'll see Hunter there. You're going to be there every day? Yep, 24-7. Come up and say hi to Hunter. He has a lot more information about goats and 4-H and stuff like that. He might even tell you how you can join up. So uh, last but not least, 
your skill with engines. Yes. You won a competition. Yes. Last year, a five-state competition. It's small engines and farm engines and stuff like yes. that. Yes. Didn't you also study in 4-H robots and rockets? Yes. Wow, this ain't, this ain't grandpa's farming. That's pretty cool. Well, we're going to come see you, and uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll see Piston and the Demo Derby and the Demo Derby school bus, and I plan on taking a couple whacks at the old uh, caravan. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you. See you at the fair. Down in Northeast last week, everyone was prepared to enjoy the music, the ceremony, the food, and especially what was to be a spectacular fireworks display. The only thing that wasn't ready was the weather, as clouds, wind, and lightning rolled in, forcing the cancellation of the evening's main attractions. Still, Cecil TV was there, and we had an opportunity to speak to some of those involved in the event. Hello, I'm Allison Donnelly for Cecil TV. I'm here at the Cecil County Salute to Veterans and the Northeast Park. Christy McDevitt, what kind of work goes into today's operations? Okay, well let me just tell you, it takes a whole team. We actually had a fantastic crew this year, and we pretty much started planning at the beginning of the year and had monthly meetings. Um, but I have to say, with the military being involved, was a lot of work because, you know, it's very structured, very regimented, but it makes for a really smooth, seamless ceremony. And, you know, we're all out here, we're sweating, we're having a good time, but it's awesome. It's worth every minute of hard work, so. What kind of turnout are you expecting? You, you mentioned something about the, the people coming early. Yeah, so this is my first year organizing. In the past, it was uh, Gene Daly and Jamie Daly. Um, so what, from what I understand, we typically get about 2,500 to 3,000 that come out uh, before the fireworks and then a rush of people right around 9 o'clock. Um, but this year, we added some more vendors, including food, crab cakes, um, hot dogs, burgers, the whole nine yards, and then also a kid zone, which features inflatables, as you can probably see behind us. And so we're really encouraging people to enjoy the family part of it too, because that's what, you know, the military strives to, to make all of this kind of stuff possible in our community. And one last question, I think it's about 92 degrees outside right now. How do you stay cool? Not, I think it's hotter than that, but um, Kona Ice hooked me up with this huge cup of just plain old shaved ice. We've got bottled water um, and, you know, just industrial size fans and we just try to stay cool, but keep a little hustle in our bustle too. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Steve McBride. He's the master of ceremonies for tonight's events. What goes on tonight? Well, tonight uh, we started at 6 o'clock uh, with a, a welcome, and Bleach is playing right now. They'll be playing until about 7.30. And then at 8 o'clock tonight we have the, the official salute to our veterans ceremony. Uh, among other dignified guests, our mayor of Northeast will be speaking, as well as uh, a general from Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Following the ceremony at about 8.30, uh, my group, Broadway and Beyond, will perform, and at 9.20 the fireworks kick off. Very cool. So why do, why do people come to Northeast for fireworks, do you think? I think it's a beautiful water resort town. I think there's lots of family-friendly activities. We've got such support from the community. If you look around, you see our emergency services, our food vendors. It's a real great place to spend the 4th of July. Great. Thank you so much. Recent Northeast High School grad Russell Holtz told us why he was there. What brings you out to Northeast pa Town Park for 4th of July? Well, I really like to uh, interact with the community because I think it's a great community. I've always lived here, and I've always liked how they bring everybody together with uh, events like this. And this one in particular is really nice because everybody always comes out to this. Like, every, pretty much everyone I know comes. So it's just a really nice way to uh, interact with everybody in the community. And what does the 4th of July mean to you? The 4th of July means to me basically celebrating our country. Not just like what's going on right now, but everything that's happened, like the past, the present, and the future. Just appreciating what we have as a really, I think we're a really unique nation, and it's just a chance for us to celebrate that and just come together, really. And how do you stay cool on such a hot day? Well, I drink lots of water and uh, take a couple breaks from being outside. Definitely go in the air conditioner every once in a while, that's for sure. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Because of technical issues with the fireworks, a rain date is not possible. However, while the salute to Cecil County Veterans crew regrets this outcome, they have promised to make the 2019 salute a memorable event. For Cecil TV, 
This is Doug Donnelly. I'm home! Wow, it's hot in here. Grandma says call the Moon Man. <laughs> moon Man, the AC is out and my family is melted! At your service! There you go! Mission accomplished! Thanks, Moon Man! <sighs> the house is nice and cool again. Moon Man, you're awesome. You're welcome! Just go to moonairinc.com! Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Charles. For 30 years, I have been practicing functional medicine and gentle chiropractic. Elkton Chiropractic Neurology is dedicated to enhancing whole body rejuvenation. Whether or not you are afflicted with injury or disease, we utilize a structural, neurologic, metabolic, nutritional, and energetic approach to restoring your body to its full potential. After coming to Dr. Charles, I'm better than I was before. You deserve to feel good and to have an active lifestyle. So why not call Elkton Chiropractic Neurology today? All right, this is a song from my uh, CD called Catching a Ride, and uh, this song is called Let It Fly. The storm came rolling through in the middle of the night, covered the grass and trees in a blanket of white. I sat still cause we found something nice Sitting here in the warmth again You cannot put a price on something right
All right, this is a song uh, that I wrote actually many years ago um, and is uh, was released in 2014 as a single. It's available on CD Baby and it's called Walk Away. Well, I've seen your face through the years of my living days. It's taken time, but I've come to see your ways every time. Walk away Walk away Well I really know That you're good in these things you do Can't deny There's a reason that I call on you With your mind in the sand You lost a man Come to know and believe In my very own plan I walked away Hard to say. 